Hello everyone and welcome back to Stock Career in Kerbal Space Program 1.8 and we are going to be doing Duna stuff, not Mars, Duna stuff. Duna stuff, Duna, Duna, it's Duna. Okay, so we're approaching the return home window, but only one of our Kerbals can actually go home. Okay, well, I don't see any problem with getting her in orbit first. Hopefully she still has that all-important ejecta with her. May come as a surprise, but I've never migrated something from an 8-inch floppy to a solid-state drive. That's a horrible orbit. Why did I do that? Talking away. I really wish this craft could share fuel with our other craft, because it's got 2,800 the other craft. Let me just uh, see what Rich Hat has on board and how much he would need to actually exit. It's t it's actually tight. Uh, I don't like that though. I don't want to leave Rich Hat with like no fuel left. If I only had done the burn a little bit more efficiently. Yeah, we're just like 70 meters per second off from being able to use this thing. Anyway, no point uh, delaboring it. There's nothing I can dump that would... Uh, unless Rich Eye could explode the mystery goose, I don't think we can... Uh, we can get him back like this, but... 600 meters per second is what we needed, and 533 is what we've got. Now we'll get out into interplanetary space. And then let's see about a minor correction. But yeah, way too much fuel on this one, way too little fuel on the other one. Okay, well that'll, that'll do just fine. Alright, well, we've got a mid-course adjustment plan for our Tezzer Kerman coming back from Ike, and uh, we need to work on the... on the rescue of Rich Hat. So, first use of the claw! Yay! <laughs> uh, let's get a hex. We're gonna claw the pod, fill it up with fuel, and bring it back. That's the plan. How aerodynamic is the claw? I'm gonna blatantly assume that we don't really need a um, shroud over it. What the heck category is it in anyway? Coupling? I think it's more of a utility thing. It doesn't look very aerodynamic, but then again it sort of looks like the top of a Gemini capsule too. 3000? That should be... well we can put more fuel. Maybe this is an occasion for, like, boosters. When do I ever get the larger one of this form factor? Jeez. Well, I have 200 science. There's the tank. I'll get that. I don't like not having that tank. It'll cut down on part count, too, for other rockets. It seemed like we didn't have enough comms. We should put a re we should make this the relay maybe. That would be good. But then having the relay antenna stick out like this sort of demands like a fairing. How cheaty is it if I put this in the fairing like right here? Uh, well, not a fairing. I want one of those structural thingies. Oh, this service module might be okay. Oh, wait, it's got those dividers. Oh, it sort of pokes out a bit. It's not even technically enough range on its own. That's the problem we've been having anyway. We should... How much is the tracking station upgrade? 
unknown or object tracking. A million? 1.126 million? I guess we have to do it. We would have saved our, uh, I... We would have probably saved our Ike Station if I had just done that yesterday. The antenna's too thick, but, you know, stages have ridges sometimes. Okay, we need the solar panels, though. We might need RCS for once, because we're actually trying to get this to claw the other thing. And the engine that we've got down here is just too powerful. This is like an Agena kind of thing going on here. This is a bit heavy. To be maneuvering and trying to claw a small pod with. I sort of like it. I sort of like it. Nevertheless. But we've only got two more parts. <laughs> I've, I've done a horrible thing. Um, hmm... Well, we do. We haven't unlocked Ashton Group, so do we still have the VAB? Not, I guess. Am I gonna dump the whole thirty-part limit now? I guess I'll abandon the thirty-part limit. Ah, oh, well. Fine. We're upgrading the VAB. Now we have Action Groups. Because it is too good to not use it. Let's see if we can make a good looking rocket for once. Now that we have dumped the part count limit. Why? Why do we have to have the sticky outy things? Okay, is that enough thrust to get off the ground? Yeah, wow. By quite a lot. So, we need 4,000 to get to orbit, let's say. That leaves us with 2,000. We should be able to get over there and make orbit with that. We're just delivering this tank of fuel. Let me just quickly check whether that's going to be enough. It ought to be. I mean, really, Rich Hat just needs another 70 meters per second. I mean, that tank... It'll only fill up, like, two of these. Uh, I think that should be enough. If he can get 533 with just uh, 45 oxidized and 37 liquid fuel. But as far as Raider Nick goes, playing stock is cheating, so. Which it is. <laughs> I mean, can't. I mean, how, how many cheats have they given us? They made the planet smaller. Gave us the super reaction wheels. The Kerbals don't eat, drink, or anything. Uh, they can, don't consume power. Um, it's just, it's just monumental how many cheats are involved. Well, I'm gonna sort of hide those nasty little protruding bit. Not that many fins. You gotta pretend that those things are like fin actuators or something. Breathe game again? Probably not today, because today, uh, Dollar Root is doing his thing. And we'll be watching Dollar Root after I finish Kerbal today. I think there's more than one, like, after you get to the rescue vehicle, I think there's more to it, because it said episode one. I think that's just, like, the first challenge. But I'm not sure. Still pretty involved. This is a nice looking rocket. Um, if I do say so myself. Although, maybe, maybe not these. Maybe these winglets are better. Yeah, I think I'll forego actually singing happy birthday just this once. All right, let's go. What's this? I don't need this happening, do I? Or maybe I do. That's that's the right one. Okay. You play War Thunder? Yeah, I've I have played War Thunder, but it's it's such a grind, and I just don't have time.
And it's not like I'm especially good at it or anything. Oh, what's your uh, best line, Atomic uh, Meteor? Where are you at? In plane. I don't care about tanks. In planes. Oh, C202. The, uh, it's Italian, right? We suddenly see a lot of asteroids around. Okay, that's a good approach. Good enough, anyway. Yeah, but I don't, I don't gather that I'm going to be storing data structures for Unity in R. That's <laughs> or using any R constructs, unless Unity is happy with CSV files. It might be. Honestly, if I can just use CSV files for everything, I'm happy. One time I made a game in uh, Python. I, uh, I stored the save game and load game stuff in CSV files. I think that'll be good enough. Got a bonus Ike flyby for no reason. Okay, so this will have that maneuver, but we need to pay attention to our mission coming back home. So let's go to the tracking station. Oh, did I see that it had a charge draw? Not that it keeps track of that on the way, but just for the heck of it, let's see. Of course, uh, Kerbal Space Program's uh, save game method for Unity is interesting because it's just a text file. <laughs> it's, uh, Sure keeps it simple, but well, we haven't gotten to the blueberries yet because the Kerbal coming back is just carrying the Duna ejecta. The one we're trying to save is the one with the blueberries. Okay, so um, first one will be the Ike McMuffin, but it's a close call. Which one? Yeah, I mean it's pretty close together. Science or just cash? Well, I think. Oh, you. Oh, you. It is a contract. You're right. I don't know. I'll. We'll have to check. I mean, I think there there was already science because I think recovering those gives you like 144 science or something like that. Now oh, we can nudge it a little bit closer into the atmosphere once we get there. Okay, uh, but we'll create a dummy maneuver so that we know when to pay attention. To. Okay, that's not quite what I wanted. Oh, Ike is complicating things. Alright. Okay. So, Tezzer Kerman is returning from her mission to Ike. Bringing back some Duna Ejecta from Ike. And actually, uh, close to periapsis will slow down a bit. We've got all this 2,200 meters per second. We could probably just manually make orbit. Save some trouble. Full garbage collection like rabbits. <laughs> Exploding rabbits. Oh, jeez. Sounds horrible. Well, actually, it doesn't matter whether I retract these or not. Gonna uh, explode in the atmosphere. Yeah, we've got good epic music. But I don't think the epic music is gonna last long enough. We should have already been like in the middle of flames and such. It begins. Yeah, it begins. And users that reason we can't have nice clean servers. Well, no, I was more thinking about software packages and such, but you know they do interact with the internet. You know what they say: no plan survives interaction with the enemy. In this case, the end user. Okay, let's see about that ejecta. 
Okay, too many acronyms now. We've reached my acronym limit for today. <laughs> SGML and DOM have gone right out. I don't know those. 425 science earned, including the Duna ejector, that was 144 science. It basically is the same as a surface sample, it looks like. And Tezzer Kerman has advanced to level 3 with 27 experience gained. Well, let's just spend our science, darn it. Nuclear propulsion. Uh. Plates. Plane parts. More plane parts. Landing gear. Probably would need a landing gear before we even make other planes. Well, rover parts, that's another thing. We basically need all the things. This is the Probodobodyne Octo 2. And the Gigantor. We need all the things. I'll wait. I can't decide. Standard generalized markup language is what HTML is implemented with. Okay, well. So. We'll just call that prototype HTML or. Like proto molecule. Proto HTML. <laughs> They're not giving us any jewel contracts. Or Drez contracts. Oh, I should have sent the orbital station over. Gosh darn it. With the claw. Lisa's gonna have to wait. Alright, let's get back get Rich Hat back. Tezzer said thanks. We say tank thanks to Tezzer. Tezzer was the one who did it. After all. Made a hovercraft. Uh, not as such. I've made a craft hover, but I have not made a hovercraft. Visit the North Pole? We need to, we still need to hunt for those trees. I wanted to get a Kerbal to investigate the trees of Kerbin. We were meaning to do that. I think a hovercraft is too slow. Why does it place a limit on how many items are in the inventory on the CSV file? We're we're discussing other languages. Let's put it that way. But file formats are not something that should be alien to any computer user. The specific file formats, perhaps. I mean, if we were discussing whether a doc file or a PDF would be better for something, that would be pretty self-explanatory to most people. Basically, it's the same thing. Okay, so the problem is that normally on a CSU file you have, let's say I have the character name in, in column one, and then normally in a CSV file you have a limited number of columns, right? Is that the problem? It's the problem where you're gonna have to have a certain number of columns. That's the thing. We're really tight on fuel on this too. Rich Hat landed on Mars to pick up blueberries. We didn't even know Duna had blueberries. But Duna has blueberries, or something called blueberries anyway. Dingleberries? Were they special blueberries? They were pretty darn big. They looked more like mushrooms to us. And they didn't look very blue. So, it's complicated. Kerbal's a color... Well... It's selectively colorblind, I suppose. Focused on the green part of the spectrum? They have so many... They, they don't even call it green. They have like 50 names for it. I wait... Uh, from my realism overhaul experience, I wait until we get really close before I start RCSing things.
Well, you're assuming they have the same cone thing going. Maybe they have something completely different. Maybe it's because of, like, the colors on Kerbin. May we see Kerbin in a certain way, but they see it a different way. That was more beneficial evolutionarily because of whatever predators they were trying to escape from. I don't know. I mean, we don't know what kind of pressures they were under during their evolution. We can't judge. <laughs> the color of Minmus? Well, now, once we're within 200 meters is a good time to do our CS. I actually... I thought I had set these to retract on action group 1. Was that just extend? I don't know. Okay, where do we want the claw to grab him? I think grabbing from this end would be best. If it can grab that tank, that would be good. I don't know if it can or not, but... We haven't even docked- have we docked anything in this playthrough? I don't suppose we can target that, can we? We could have grabbed it from the tail. I don't know if we can grab it from this tank. This is sort of an experiment. I mean, I'm pretty sure I have to claw from the center of mass. Or maybe not. Okay. Whatever. That's a little bit awkward, but it's doable. Was this about a, a hell of a nightmare dialer route? Why can't we- oh, wait. Why- why can't we transfer- can we transfer res- we can't transfer resources through this thing? Or is that something I have to unlock with another building? Maybe I have to unlock with another building. Resource transfer bill 3.38 million. We can't transfer resources to him until we get 3. Point Gosh darn it. Okay, we need money. Uh, what the contracts do we have already? Those will take too long. Let's rescue... Let's rescue Lisa for starters. And what else can we do around here quickly? Oh, let's rescue... Sure. Rescue. We'll do a combo rescue. I don't know about recovering modules, that's complicated. That's like a shuttle thing to do. Six tourists? No. Surface outposts on the moon. Sure. Surface outposts on Minmus. This is the same thing. Alright, fine. No, oh, ages, ages. Uh, they always give you a whole bunch of time. 19 years. So. Anyway. We'll do the rescues first and then land the bases. I don't know. That's probably not going to be enough still, but we need to get some of them done first before they offer us new ones. Um, there was already a craft that could do that, right? Rescue 3M? Uh, we don't need this business. Maybe there's a little bit underpowered for grabbing somebody from both the Moon and Minmus. Hmm. So, launch. And then, transfer, orbit, transfer, orbit, come back. Should be enough. 
I shouldn't have upgraded the VAB to get more than 30 parts. Now, now we're in trouble. Now we have to make money to upgrade the R&D building. Gosh darn it.